Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to take a numerical derivative in MATLAB using the diff command. So in a previous video I have talked about the diff command and also shown example how to use that. If you haven't watched that, please watch that to uh, learn more about the diff command. In this video we will see how to take a derivative with that. So let's go on with it. So let's say use diff command to take a derivative. So this is our goal. I just commented it. So now first, let's say define a function. Now let's say the function we assume is, for example, x cube. Okay, so this is our function. So first define the function, and then we will take a derivative of that. And then we will compare those two derivatives with the actual derivative, and then we will see what's the difference. And and at the end, we will plot these two figures. Now let's define first what is x. Let's say x is from 0 to, let's say, 10. Just um, for now, we can change it later. Um, y equals to x cubed. OK, so if we do that, now let's plot the function. So we want to plot this too. Um, let's see. Let's define it as a circle. Let's say x label is x, y label is y. Okay, so if I run it, so this is our figure. As you can see, um, we have x and we have y, and our function is y x cubed, and that's been defined from 0 to 10 because we have defined it like this here. Okay, so um, let's see how can we take a derivative, and then we will, we will plot the derivative here. So um, take a derivative. Okay. So let's define the derivative variable y underscore diff. We can define it in a different variable name. Um, so now that should be what um, the derivative should is defined as dy over dx, right? So we will do the similar things. Instead of dy or dx, instead of d, we will say diff because d is the difference, right? So we'll say diff y dot over diff x. Okay, so um, you can see the dot divide or dot power. So these are all element-wise operations. If you don't know how to take an element-wise operation, uh, it's simply what it's doing is that instead of taking the whole array and cubing it, it will take the individual elements and do the operation of uh, the power or the division. So that's what uh, a dot divide or dot power is. If you want to learn more about it, I will link a video below. Um, okay, so that's our differentiation dy dx y diff. Now we want to plot it. Let's say we want to plot it in a different figure. So I'll say figure two um, plot. Now what happens here is that if I say plot x comma y underscore div. If I do that, the issue is, um, as we have mentioned before, uh, the div command actually reduces the number of elements in the array. So right now the y array has 11 elements, but if I take a div, 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 div differentiation, then it will make it this y div as uh, one element short, which is 10 element array. So that means if we do this, then it will show error. Let me show you guys if I run it, it will not plot it because there's an error. It's showing vectors must be the same length because of that, because x our in our case is 1 by 11, but y diff is 1, 1 by 10. So to, to address that, we can say um, plot x from 2 to colon to end, meaning uh, discard the first value of x, just plot from 2 to the end value. And then now we have 
one less in the x values and now if we just run it it should be able to plot it yes so um, as you can see this is the first uh, plot that we showed which is x cube and this is the differentiation of that x cubed now to make sure that this is what we're looking for we can plot also the analytical form of that before that let's let me um, put a title here on uh, the first first figure let's say the title um, is y equals to x cubed function something like that so that's that's our title for the first figure the second figure um, we can say also say label let's label these as dx let's label these y-axis as dy and let's put a title here saying derivative of x cubed okay so if i just run it to see if our yeah you can see the title appeared here here and also our labels are here now what we'll do for the validation is to plot the analytical or the exact derivative and see what's the difference between a numerical derivative and also an analytical derivative to do that um, calculate um, analytical derivative which is um, if we know uh, we know that um, for derivative of x cube so if y equals to x cube then dy over dx should be 3x squared that we know from calculus so we want to plot 3x squared and then we will match with our um, calculated numerical uh, values to identify if it's accurate or not okay to do that um, let's say we define another variable let's say y verify y underscore verify is three dot times x dot power square so this is our three x squared function and we want to plot it with the previous derivative function okay so to do, to do that let's say we want we want to use a hold on function what it does is that it's it's going to hold the current figure uh, with its uh, with its plot and then we will we can plot it on top of that figure okay so let's plot it let's say um, let's say x comma y underscore verify now what happens here is um, it's going to do the same thing because it's not the the size is, is not going to be the same okay so let's let's see if um if it does that let's plot um let's make it red circle our o should be the uh, o for the circle r for the red if we do that now as you can see the r the red one is for the analytical one and the blue uh, line is for the numerical derivative one uh, we can also put a let's say a legend here because we don't know what is what right the first one is the blue one so we can say that's numerical and the second one is um, analytical you can say that now if i run it second figure you can see it's saying uh, the blue one is numerical red one is analytical okay now what happens here we can see is that um, the red one is not exactly matching with the blue one so so the numerical derivative is not actually um, calculating the exact uh, formula that we want so the thing is we have defined this x as really coarse because it's incrementing one for each element to have a more accurate result, we need to increase this um, this array. So to do that, we can say um, instead of increasing one, let's say we can increase 0 0.1. So that way we have increased the size of X and that will actually increase the resolution. Let's see if it does something. 
Okay, so as you can see from here, uh, the blue line is exactly uh, on top of the uh, red points, meaning the numerical is almost matching the uh, analytical one. So from here, we saw that how to um, how to implement the diff command to calculate the derivative of a function, in this case, x cubed. Now that we know how to calculate a derivative of a function using the diff command in MATLAB, we will plot uh, the function and also the derivative in a same plot. Plot the function and the derivative on the same plot. Okay, how to do that? So let's uh, say we want to plot another figure, which is figure three. And here, let's say plot x comma y. And let's say we want to plot it as a circle, the first one, and then comma. The second figure is the diff, which is x comma y underscore diff. This is our variable, y underscore diff. Now we want to see that as red circle. Okay, so these are defining how the markers or the line should appear. In this case, I have defined the first one to be the circle and the second one to be the color red and circle. So if I do that, the third figure should show an error like this because y diff, as we said before, is not in the same size as x because um, the diff command reduces the size of that. So to plot the thing, we can actually calculate this one um, from two to end. This is the backward difference method. And then we can actually um, do that. Now it's working. As you can see, figure three here, the red one is our derivative. The blue one is our actual y equals to x cubed function. Now we can put the labels, titles, um, change the color, and so on. So that's how to plot both of these in the same figure. Now we will see um, how to plot these um, in the same plot with two different y-axes. Okay, to do that, let's define another figure four plot. Um, to, before doing that, let's say we want to have two different y-axis, but the same x-axis. Now, to have two different y-axis, you can refer to a previous video of mine where I have shown how to uh, define two different y-axis. Here, we will just implement that. So first, we need to define yy-axis. Um, first left plot x comma y let's say that's the circle and I want a dot 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 like that um, close and then we can label it x label is x y label is let's say y now um, we will say y y axis right. So whatever we write after this y y axis right, that will plot on the right axis. So now let's say plot the derivative function. So let's say x um, x and then comma y underscore diff comma. We want to see red um, red circle. Now, as we said before, x will not work because um, it's not the same size. We can use the backward difference method, and that's actually to define it from two to end. There are other numerical methods too, like central difference or forward difference. Um, we can uh, define that later, but for now, just, uh, just for this video's sake, let's plot these. Um, we can also say uh, y label. We have already defined x label. We don't have two different axes of x so we can have two different y's and now let's say dy is my right y axis so if i plot it figure four 
Now you can see the blue one is on the left. This is the actual y, which is the x cube function. And uh, dy, the right one, is, on the, uh, is red. And it's the derivative of that, which is equivalent to 3x squared. So that is how we can calculate a derivative in MATLAB, a numerical derivative in MATLAB, and we have verified that with the analytical one. You can use the diff command. Um, that is for now. That is all for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.